Hey guys, my name is Freedom. Today I'm going to show you how to set up the material in Unreal Engine 5. And I'm going to focus on the props and avatar exported from Icron 8 or Character Creator 4. At the beginning, if you without involving the Unreal Live Link or Auto Setup, once you exported any of the FBX file from Icron 8 or Character Creator 4 and import into Unreal Engine 5 or Unreal Engine 4, it is going to show, show the texture like this. This texture is not set up properly. So actually you can just set it up manually just in one minute to make everything correct like this without involving the Icron Unreal Live Link or the CC Auto Setup, any of the this plugins, actually you can just set it up manually in one minute. So start from now, I'm going to show you step by step how are we going to do this to set to set up the material properly in Unreal Engine 5 for your Icron 8 and Character Creator 4 exported FBX. So now, just have a look. Now the first, I'm going to open the Icron 8. From the Icron 8, I will just select a random prop. For example, the 3D Life prop. In this example, I'm going to use the dog collie. Just drag it into the center and make sure you have to select from the scenes. Make sure it already selected or double click to select it. And next, click File Export. Export as FBX file. The target tool preset you have to choose Unreal for your Unreal Engine. The export range in this case, this is just a demo. I will just choose the current frame and embed the texture. Click export. Export it on my desktop and the file name I'm going to name this as dot zero one. This is just a sample FBX file. Click OK. Now you can see within one second it already exported as FBX file at here. Next, I'm going to open my Unreal Engine 5 to just have a look. So just because of this tutorial, I will do this, this demo without involving the Unreal Live link and auto setup. So no any plugins involved. I will just create a new Unreal Engine 5 project. So now as demo, I'm going to just create a new game, a third a third person game. The project name I'm going to name this as okay. This is project seven Iclone 8. Right. Iclone 8 to UE5 material setup. Material. So I click create. Now it is creating a new project. And just wait for a while, it is going to load into the new project. Now this project is initializing. Right, now you can see this new game project file already loaded. In this case, if you play, this is just a third person game. And I'm going to just do some, some setup here. So you can see, this is just a fresh new project. So what can I do? From this new project here, you already can see the content browser. If you can't see the content browser, just call it out. And I'm going to import this FBX file. So I will just create a new folder here. Right click new folder. Name this folder as doc01. Double click in and drag in the FBX file. Drag in and import. Import it. It's the skeleton mesh, import mesh, everything like this. Just import. Then close this conversation. Now you can see everything already imported. And now it is preparing the shader. Now the dot zero one is at here. Double click to check it. Now the shader is not ready yet, so you can't see anything. Just wait for a while until 
until this one will go to 100%. Now it's 40%. Preparing shader. You have to wait until this finish. Now 60%. Just wait for a while. Now done. You can see once it finish, finish prepare all the shader, then you double click and just check. You can see this doc. Just now I export it from Icron 8, export it as FBX file now. You can see the material is not set up properly. So this is the material. So how are we going to fix this? It is just really easy without involving the the icon and real life link or auto setup. You can see the material is just here. Just double click it. Now you can just just check. You have three material like this. So you have to wait for a while until you can see the material thumbnail loaded at here. Now it is still preparing the shader, wait for a while until it runs to hundred percent here. Now it already finished prepare all the shader. Now you can see at here. Just close it again and open again. For this one, you don't save and open again. And then double click. Double click the material again. Then you should be able to see the blend mode here. This one, you can make it further away like this. Now, you totally, you totally have three things. The first thing what you are going to do is just click the blank space here and you should be able to see a blend mode. The blend mode is translucent. This is totally wrong. You have to choose it to mask. And next, you can see this is the opacity map. It is black and white opacity map. It connected to the opacity, but actually you are going to connect it to opacity mask. So you have to press the control, hold the control and take it down. And at this moment, release the control button, then connect it to opacity mask. Then take down the normal, hold the control, take it down, release the control and release your mouse button once, click. Just like this, you already finished setup, then click save. Now it is preparing the shader and you have to wait until it's safe. Save until 100% later, it will stop automatically. Now you can see it is saving and you just wait for a while until it finish the shader compilation. Now, it is almost finished, 97% and just left 2 seconds done. Alright, now you can see it already rearranged everything like this. You still have something wrong here. This RGB, you have to hold the control, take it down. Alright, it's okay. If, if it connected to RGB, it's okay. Just because of this is black and white, it doesn't matter. So now I just close this. This one, no need to save already. You just check your dog, Kali. You can see all the material already done and everything show you perfectly. All right, you can just drag it out and just have a look. Just try to test play your game. You can see this dog's material, everything show properly. You double click and check again. Yes, boom, done. All right. That's all for today about how to set up the material for your iPhone 8 and CC4 exported FBX file in Unreal Engine 5 without involving the iClone Unreal Live Link and Auto Setup. And that's all for today. Thank you for watching. If you love my video tutorial, if you feel all these tutorials are very helpful to, to your 3D animation, 3D modeling, and game developing, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and also turn on the mini bell and select all so that when next time I publish a new sharing or tutorial, you receive a notification immediately. See you in my next video. Enjoy! Happy animation and game developing. See you!